it's the perfect day to be on a $2.7 million yacht indoors that is and pretend it's yours because we know it's very cold out there but I mean, I mean a girl can only daydream right let's take a look at current conditions in Toronto right now minus 10 uh, minus 10 in Brampton minus 10 in Mississauga and minus 8 in Oakville so it's a little bit warmer there but with the wind chill it is feeling worse than that and it appears that my iPad has frozen right now I'm not quite sure why that's happening Oh, there we go. So now we've jumped to the seven day forecast. But again, with the wind chill, it is feeling a lot cooler than that. If you want to know what your day looks like tomorrow, it's going to be another cold one in the morning, starting off around minus five and warming up to about actually cooling down to about minus 10. And there is a 30 percent chance for flurries tomorrow. Cloudy conditions for the most part. And then on Monday, we're actually expecting some afternoon snowfall as well. A daytime high of minus five around this time, time of the year. The average is closer to minus two, which we're going to be seeing on Tuesday. So you can bet that you are going to see some snowfall over the next couple of days and then on Wednesday and Thursday that's when we're expecting some bitter cold temperatures daytime highs of minus 15 and minus 14 but with the wind chill feeling more like minus 28 and minus 29 I'm sure you haven't forgotten how cold last weekend was well we're getting a little bit of a taste of that next Wednesday and Thursday so I hope you uh, have lots of layers to wear because you're going to need them and then Friday it warms up to about minus 10 and then lots of sunshine on your Saturday a daytime high of minus 12 and like I said I am here at the Toronto International Boat Show on a beautiful yacht with Mike. Mike, tell me a little bit about what's happening here right now. Absolutely. So we're here on the Azimut 50 Fly. We're here with Pride Marine Yachts. Um, and this boat is fantastic. We've had a lot of people through it. Um, you know, people are starting to show some interest in it, uh, which is good. We've had two more days, well, technically one more full day left, a little bit left today. Uh, yeah, and it's been a great show. So this yacht is obviously very beautiful. I can't stop really looking at it. What's your reaction to it? My reaction is the same. It is absolutely amazing. The space that is on this yacht is, you, you just, you can't imagine it until you get on it and you see what it's like. And Mike, do people actually buy yachts? Absolutely, they do. We, yeah. we sell quite a few a year um, and a lot of them go up to Georgian Bay or they stay down here where we are right now in Toronto. So a lot of people are putting it in the Toronto Harbour. And for people who haven't been to the Toronto International Boat Show, why do you think they should come check it out tomorrow? Well, there's obviously some great savings to have while you're at the boat show. Um, tons of things to do. You can see the lake that's here. You can do many things. Uh, and then obviously come and see our lineup of yachts, which are beautiful yachts, the Azimut and Princess lineup. Well, thank you so much, Mike. No problem. I know I had a good time touring this. I think it's going to be very hard for me to get off of here because I really like it.